Okay, so I think we're looking good here. I'm going to start playing with maybe the details of the face. And I think what I'm going to do is uh, use this brush. It's my Kalinsky Sable size 2 brush. I'm going to get it wet. And I'm just uh, looking very closely at my picture now to get this. I think the beak will be an important part to making this look right. And I'm going to use my Windsor Orange Red Shade. I'm going to keep this nice and bright. Scrub this line right here to kind of not have that hard edge that was there. Okay, and I'm going to kind of let that sit while I go in load my brush up pretty thickly with black and just get some of these little details just want to make sure this is all nice and black and even take it into the beak a little bit because there's a pretty cool shadow in here. Okay, so that's got refined quite a bit. Now the bird has a pretty heavy shadow under the wing right here, so I'm going to reproduce that. Adding in some feather details here. Let's check if this dry so I can kind of rework this area a little bit. Blending that in, I just wanted to refine that edge of the beak. So I'm just working in light washes here. I can always go back in and add more. Taking green and adding red to it right here. Because I don't want too bold of a green. Again, I want to stick with the gray green. like a fairly dark against these whites. So I'll probably go in and punch up this background several times. I'll work upside down here for a minute so that I can make sure that I'm being accurate against that white that I very much want to save that little white there. So it's good to sometimes turn your painting upside down 